Ohio gozaimasu guys what's up we're headed to a brand new adventure today headed down to Nashville right now we got a little road trip to start things out we're going to Middle Tennessee anime convention I think people say MTAC there's Drew in there I'll show you the rest of the crew later when we arrive it's just me and Drew in this car it's windy I'm cold I'm gonna put the camera up I'll see you guys later coming from our home near Indianapolis it takes about four and a half hours to get to the hotel near the airport in Nashville where MTAC is taking place Nashville baby there's Louisville. Drew and I just parked. It's really bright out here and it's warm. Oh my God, it's so bright. Uh, the bus stop is right over there. We're in the overflow parking lot. Xavier, Nate, and Megan are already at our hotel. Neither of us are at where we need to be to pick up the batch. Dude, it's bright. All right, there's not room on this first bus, so we're gonna have to wait for another one. We're gonna be like very almost one of the first ones on the next one. It came right when we stopped. It's a little unfortunate. I'm already surprised by the size, just by the amount of people here. All right, Drew and I are walking into the Sheridan right now. I don't think the others are here yet. They unloaded all the stuff and tried to check in at the other hotel and couldn't. That's rough. We're gonna find registration. Here it is. Looks nice. We are in and guess what? Whoa, Megan's in the restroom. Oh, no, she's not, she's right there. <laughs> I think registration's down this way. We can see the dealer's room in here. One of them, there's two dealer's rooms. That's really interesting. I don't know where registration is though, so there's a lot of people here already for early Friday. Yeah, hopefully the line isn't crazy. It's different, wait, 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 what is this? Artist Alley? <laughs> no, we're, look, we're walking into something. Are we an artist right now? Where's registration? Okay, they said we had to go outside and go take a right and then come back in. I don't know where this registration is. Back entrance. There's a lot of people in there, man. It isn't beautiful out. It's way nicer than it was in Indy. I was freezing this morning. Oh, there it is. I see. All right, pre-reg took about two minutes. So uh, very easy. And now we don't have a room to go to. So I guess the only thing we can do is look around, walk around, hang out. How did the embassy look? Really nice? Yeah. Cool. I'm we obviously didn't, obviously didn't see the room yet, but... Right, but the yeah. lobby area looked yeah. cool. Cool. As I just want to let you know, right now I'm wearing a mask sometimes this weekend because I got sick at Crossroads and it wasn't fun. We're going to walk around Artist Alley first. You know I don't normally film Artist Alley, just to respect the artist. I'll give you an update on how it is in a minute. Free. Oh, it's free? It's free fitting. Worst thing that happens is what? you live. Why not? I'll need to mark the back of your batch just to show you've got your free spin today. Green. Green color and pack. Good choice. I was thinking the same thing. Club Penguin coloring pack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can go home now. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. It is crowded in the artist area. Oh my gosh. Was not expecting it to be so crowded, especially at 11 in the morning. All right, we made it through artists. It was a lot of people. Stuff looked cool, I guess. Nothing for me, but I don't know. I, I have to look again later. I always got to do a couple looks. I guess we're going to the dealer's room now. They have two. Oh shoot! Guys, I bought this in Japan. How much is it here? Not that one, you bought this one. No, I bought this one too. I bought both of those. Oh, How much is this here? Because it was $4 in Japan, or like $3. $15? Yeah. Let's go to Japan, guys. It was like three bucks, for real. Yeah, so we're in the first dealer's room now. I don't remember the name. They have different names. I'm calling this the left dealer's room, because the way we were walking, it was on the left. Okay, the left dealer's room is done. We're gonna go to the right dealer's room now. I didn't film so much of it, just a little bit. I'll film more later, guys. We're just getting in. We don't have everything all set up because we're not in the room. I'm just looking around, getting a feel for now. Bro, how are there so many people at this con yet nobody's done like a real video of this con? It's so That's weird. Crazy. I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller because there's like no real videos online about it. Yeah, it's only Friday morning. Looks good. Orange is my favorite color. Digimon gotta represent. Who's your favorite Digimon? Three, two, one. It's tough. Probably huh? War, probably War Greymon, but that sounds pretty basic sometimes. Yeah, you're kind of basic, bro. But Omega Mon would be even more basic. Mine's that little yeah. insect one. Kabitoramon, the big one or the little one? The little one. I think, I think I his like name's just Tentamon or something. He's really like that. gross. <laughs> the way he's really gross. That second dealer's room was better than the first one, and I bought two Anyas. I went a little wild. They have a whole outside area. I really like it. It's nice. We've only seen one hotel so far. We haven't seen the embassy yet, but this hotel's not like crazy big at, by any means, but having the outside area helps a ton. There's a lot of people out here too. Oh, 
Nick. All right, so here's the first Anya I got. 30 bucks is definitely overpriced, but hey, man, it was cool. This is the other one I got. I liked it because it's got the penguin. It's cute. I really want a Bond, but I can't find one. This is the last Anya I'm getting. No more ever. It's done. I really can't believe how many people are here. It's only 12 o'clock on Friday. It's because no one can be in the room yet. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why nobody can get in their room. Everybody's waiting. It's already crowded in there. Tomorrow's going to be... It's gonna be rough. So we're done here for the moment. We're gonna head back to the embassy, which I, Drew and I haven't been to yet. Check out the game room area and then see if we can check in. Maybe they changed their mind. Maybe they had enough people saying, can we check in? That they started doing it. The bus going to the embassy suites and maybe going back and forth is this big red bus. Just think like Clifford, but not a dog, a bus. Once the bus starts moving, it only takes two or three minutes to get from one hotel to the other. You could honestly walk it, but there's a big hill you'll have to go up no matter which way you come from. And the buses ran constantly throughout the weekend, so waiting wasn't really that big of a deal. They let us check in. It's only one. We didn't have to wait till four. I knew we wouldn't have to wait. They just asked at like 1030, which is, uh, to be fair, they might have been like, guys, 1030, <laughs> come on. But thank God we're getting in. This was $10 more a night. I looked at both rooms and I was like, it's worth it. Penis. We got checked into the room. The embassy suites is nice. I really like it. Here's the room. And then we have a living room in here. And I like the outside. Like the hotel itself, I like it a lot. Show the hotel number so they can dox us. We're in room 534. So you can come find us if you're ever here. Just come knock on this door and we'll say hi. If you ask, Drew might just give you a kiss. If they ask really nice, what will you give them? A big fat kid. The room was great. For the first time in a while at a con, we actually had enough space. I honestly can't recommend the Embassy Suites enough. After taking a quick rest, we made our way downstairs to check out the gaming section. The only major thing happening at the Embassy Suites all weekend was the game room. Which, just like the dealer's room, was divided up into multiple rooms. We grabbed a little lunch, had a hot dog. Yeah, it's more of a snack, to be honest. There's less people here, but it's way lighter. It's way more spacious. This is where the game rooms are. We went in two of them. There's a couple other game rooms still. One's probably a tabletop gaming room, so it's probably not gonna be for me, but I wanna go back there and look at them at least, see what it is. It's nice. Most people are in the other hotel though, for whatever reason. Xavier, I could definitely see you guys holding up a bank together. <laughs> New contradiction, guys. Wait, what is this? This seems weird. You don't it like Gumby? Weird, but it's awesome. You've never seen, have you seen the character before, Gumby? Maybe. Whoa, look at you guys together. Pikachu is. Wait, what are you vlogging? One hour later. We watched some Chainsaw Man because Drew had never seen it. And then we took a little power nap and now we're headed back out. We're going to look for some food and then go to the Sheridan. Can you dance? I can dance. Can you dance? <laughs> I so you can't think dance, you can dance well. Nate, <laughs> <laughs> you reminded me of Teko. Remember when you danced at Teko? Oh, yeah, at the K-pop dance. The... Put it in right here. Turns out we're gonna eat first. They got a restaurant down here in the embassy suite and people are hungry, so. I'm actually not doing that bad. I had a sandwich earlier, but I'll eat a little something. It's not a bad idea. I think, oh, I make a mean mashed potato. <laughs> oh, I already knew that. He would not shut up about mashed potatoes. Is that a joke? Is that a joke? No, I no. love mashed potatoes. Oh, I thought he was saying. I don't drink, but everybody else here does, so. <laughs> We've got a little tag, a little ticket, and you can get like free drinks, so they're getting free drinks. They're getting messed up. You don't like my lint? I just can't take it seriously because it's so small. Nope, I mean, pause. That's not right. Is that not right? Bro, it's a grower. <laughs> the 
when we were on the bus headed over here, we noticed that Xavier's truck, his lights are blinking. He said that only happens when someone like either tries to break into the car or hits it. So uh, after we got off the bus, they're walking back over right now to check and make sure everything's okay. Hopefully everything's cool, but we're gonna be back up with them later. It might be a time to actually catch some cosplay. So let's do that. Almost right away, I heard music coming from one of the panel rooms and had to check it out. I'd never seen this at a con before, but there was just a band playing legit rock music and the people were totally into it. I think they were just a local band, but I actually don't know. I'm gonna play some of my raw footage so you can get an idea. Let's just hope YouTube's copyright system doesn't try to screw me. Well, it's gonna be an album. It's gonna we're be an album. Big if true on Spotify. Big comma if true. Look for the banana. Who quit a job they've hated in the past? This sounds about that. Five minutes later. We are in line right now for a musical performance, a concert, some could say. It's a Japanese person who uh, I don't really know, but he, they said he's pretty cool in the guest list. So we wanted to check it out. Just waiting to be let in now. Uh, hopefully it's a good time. Filmed a little bit of cosplay, had fun, but uh, not too much today. I'm gonna do much more tomorrow. Today really just, like really I am. I know I always say that, but I really am. I want to do a cool video here. Today was just a, a lot about uh, experiencing something new, feeling the new con. And we're going to be up late tonight. We're going to be up till 2. Pee pee poo poo. I never stay up till 2, guys. It's going to be rough. This panel was for Kohei Hattori. On MTAC's website, they say he's a singer, but during this panel, he was more of a DJ. On the app, this panel was called an anime sing-along. There were some anime songs eventually, but for a while at the beginning, it felt more like a very small prom, as he was only playing all the very poppy mainstream American dance party songs that even your 60 year old aunt knows. But once he switched to anime songs, you could see the crowd's energy spike. Not to mention Kohei himself was wild. His energy really kept this panel going. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a performer at a con with that much energy. All in all, it was a really fun time. But of course, I can't play any of the actual audio because YouTube will get me in about two seconds with this one. We just left Kohei's concert, and I gotta say, he's got the energy. He brings the energy, man. He is a battery. Yeah. If you ever see him at a con, you should go. It was fun. He just had crazy yeah, energy, yeah. man. That he went all off. Really and he crazy. never told the truth about one, one last song. Bro, one yeah. lost like 10 times. He's he kept like, saying, one more song. Yeah, he's like, well, he was like, one more before the last song. One more. He did like 10 times, one more before the last song. Yeah, so he wasn't lying. Kind of. It was fun, though. I had a good time. It's a little poppin' in here. Like for a Friday, I would say it's a little poppin'. It's not that bad. We're headed to the bus to go back to the room. We're gonna chill for a bit because the next thing we wanna go to is the risque cosplay contest, which I can't film. So I'm gonna leave this camera when we come back. I'll just be on the phone. Yeah, I put the whole thing. Yeah, I defy anyone not allowed to, not able to. We're watching some old vlogs from back in the day. This is my pre-blonde era. Who's been here since that era? Back Joe. in the day. Huh? Joe's been there. Joe? Joe Mama. It's, oh, he got you. He got you. The main camera's in the room, so this is the phone, so I know it looks bad. Forgive me. We're about to head out from the embassy, back over to the Sheridan. 
Hopefully the line's not too long. We're going to the risque cosplay contest. I've never seen a cosplay contest that was risque before, so I'm excited. There's Xavier, there's Nate, there's Megan. We're not bringing Drew because Drew said is not interested in this sort of activity. Let's go. Everyone's got their badge and their ID, right? You got your ID? That's not your ID? Yes. Okay. Just show them your Blockbuster card. I mean, isn't that basically the same thing? As Essentially. A, you're over 21. Essentially. Well, guys, I had a feeling the line would be long just from uh, prior experiences with cosplay contests and burlesque shows, but it's longer than I expected. We're an hour and a half early, and we are outside waiting. You didn't? I didn't film how it like wrapped. It went down a hallway and then down another area and then came outside. There's lots of people coming quickly. It's already 10 minutes late, which sucks because it's past midnight. Not exciting that it's late. Hopefully we'll be in soon. I do love standing outside. It is nice out. It's I'm I'm not feeling nice, Nate. It's I'm feeling nice. Nice. It's not nice. I love it outside right now. Um, so it's, it's the perfect weather for me. This is my idea. Well, you can stay out here then. I'll be in the room. We're done. We're back at the hotel. Uh, we left after only three performances, even though the show had been going for about 30 minutes. Future Cody can tell you about everything. I mentioned our issues with the risque cosplay contest in my review. And there I gave one of the hosts a lot of heat for the problems that plagued it. However, after hearing more about the behind the scenes stuff that was going on, I see there was a little more to it. It appears the biggest issue may have just been a lack of signups. From what I heard, it appears they just didn't have nearly as many people participating as they expected. However, I still don't see this as an excuse to waste people's time. I felt like the hosts were really trying to drag it out, which I understand, in theory, but in practice it just brought the fun to a screeching halt between each performance. My group at least would have preferred a shorter show if it meant the time was used more effectively to make it a bit more interesting. I can go on and on about this for a while, but I'm gonna end it here. And that's also it for Friday. Sorry to end it on a sour note, but things improve in a major way tomorrow. I'll see you in the next one. Stay nerdy.